one of the big differences between physical therapy and corrective is, so physical therapy is like symptomatic, right? So if you have an issue with your shoulder, they're going to help rehab your shoulder. If you have an issue with your hip, they'll work on the hip. Okay, so corrective exercise, what we do is, after they're done rehabbing, we're more post-rehab. So we'll look at the body as a whole kinetic chain. So we'll start at the feet and see what's going on with the rest of the body. Because any deviations that start in the foot can affect what's going on in the shoulders, the hip, the back, the neck. Okay, so that's what we do. So we start with a, um, a static posture assessment, and then we move on to a full movement assessment. The common thing we see with corrective exercise movement assessment is foot pronation. Are you all familiar with that? Oh yeah, yes. it's like the way you work. Uh, not the way you work, but like the way you walk. Yeah, like you really like the way you walk. Yeah, the Occasionally you see people with supination. You can usually tell by their, the back of their shoes the wear patterns on them. So we'll look a lot for that to see if they're collapsing in or collapsing out. So a lot of times we'll see collapsing in. Now just looking at her, everything looks pretty good, but I'm going to try to force her to move it into pronation. Okay, so for that, I'm going to ask you to do something that might feel uncomfortable. Okay, you're just going to collapse this. Yes, yeah, so like you have no arch, tread. Right? Okay, so let's face the audience. Okay, this one. So now when she collapses on the bottom foot, notice how the knees start coming in in a valgus move, okay? So now, start at the foot, and now you got the knees collapsing in, okay? When the knees collapse in, it's gonna force the pelvis to tilt forward, okay? It's called anterior pelvic tilt. So <coughs> knees come in, pelvis comes back. Now what happens when that pelvis tips forward, right? Now you've gotta counterbalance yourself by coming back up, right? So you've got, I'll turn to the side right here. So you got an over-exaggerated lordosis in the lower back, right? Now, so you don't fall back, you need to come forward. So now you've got upper kyphosis in the upper. You have to counterbalance that, right? So now, shoulders round forward, right? Back arch, knees in. Yeah. I feel like now what's up? Now you're pointing down. So now you have to break your head into the horizon, right? And now we'll take a look at that. That's so pretty, right? Yeah. <laughs>